And when you stop thinking for a moment, you're just giving yourself a, just a little bit of space to see that there's this intelligence by which everything is known that is naturally present. And it, it's present right here and right now. It's not something mysterious or, or mystical or far away or something we'll arrive at eventually. It's the basis of what you're thinking and feeling and sensing right now. This is this open intelligence. With these short moments, I was just kind of touching in with this intelligence, seeing, well, what happens when I rely on it? And I discovered this sense of, of ease, of ease with myself, with all of my crazy, unpredictable flow of thoughts and emotions and sensations. So it wasn't the data over here and then ease and openness and intelligence over here. It was recognising that all of this data were the display of open intelligence. And the more I recognised this instinctively, short moment by short moment, the more comfortable I became with this, this flow of data. And it was interesting for me to see that um, this was kind of obvious at the beginning in, in many situations, you know, this sense of openness and ease and this, this sense of kind of just a clearer seeing of everything as it was. But then there were some things that still really got to me and that were really challenging. And um, so particular data streams, um, are a common one that maybe some of you are familiar with is um, finding the correct intimate partner. And so I'd be relying on open intent. I don't know, maybe some of you have that <laughs> data stream <laughs> possible. And... Um, and so there'd be this sense of ease, this sense of openness, you know, like cruising along through life. Yeah, open intelligence. This is great. I've got this going. I've got this, this is, you know, I've got this, this is down, you know. <laughs> and, uh, and then the next thought would pop into my head. Oh, my God, I'm not in an intimate relationship. Help. <laughs> and it would be like this thing would suddenly grip me, this data stream would just grab me. And, you know, this sense of panic and terror and... Oh my God, you know, it, it all, you know, I thought it was all fine and I thought everything was, was perfect, but it's obviously not. And, you know, and, and, um, and to see that this was something that I had been telling myself for so long. You know, for so long. And then when I was in the intimate relationship, you know, it, it, it was, there was a completely different struggle of working out why it wasn't the correct intimate relationship. And... and um, just to see that it, it, has, it certainly took me some time to see that I could relax with really compelling data streams as well. That these weren't, um, these weren't excuses for me to then to spin off into this whole world of drama that was completely self-created about the situation. Walking along the street, fine one minute, totally despairing and consumed by my loneliness and unlovability the next minute. And nothing had changed. It was the same street. I was wearing the same shoes. <laughs> and yet these, these, this swing of drama that I, could, I was putting myself through. But I'd been doing it for so long that it, it certainly took a while for me to see that I could actually also relax with these data streams too. And that's been amazing to see that. And the support for me, particularly with this one, of my trainer, has been um, immense. You know, to share these um, fears and concerns just with one other person in a, in a really safe environment. To, to illuminate them and just to see them clearly for what they really are. They're, they're data shining forth from, from open intelligence. They're not something that I have to be terrified of, that I have to rule my entire life, that force me to make incredibly bizarre decisions about what I'm doing with my time and with my life and with my behaviour. And, you know, oh, my God, did I really used to do that? Because, you know, that was going to make me attractive to people. And, you know, it just becomes more and more clear the way that this, this particular data stream had influenced and, and ruled my life and made me make all of these... <laughs> Very strange decisions. Um, and, and now it's, it's, it's wonderful to see that more and more there's just a, a relaxed ease around that particular data stream. Decision making in, in general just becomes more easy. 
Um, so whatever the data happens to be, I know I, I have a choice. I can utilise the support and, and recognise that it's shining forth from open intelligence, or I can be caught up in the drama and descriptions and story about it. And that applies to anything. So very often now I find that my decision-making is just very quick and very easy. But, but sometimes something will come up, and, oh, God, no, I've got no idea what to decide there. But I still have the same choice with the data stream of not knowing what to decide. I can collapse into the whole story there. Oh, God, I'm no good at making decisions. You know, I can never make the right decision. You know, I'm just caught up in all of this procrastination, and this is who I am, and this is my personality type, and you know, why can't I make decisions as easily as they are over there? Look at them there. A brilliant decision maker and this is just another story a description or I can relax and be comfortable with the data stream of not knowing what to do in this moment and that also then flows on by it's like a rainbow appearing in space it's something that I can actually relax and enjoy or I can struggle with and desperately try and make into something that, that's a problem and this is the, the, the retraining in, in, in the nature of mind that's going on here. Just really seeing that we always have this same choice and it applies to all situations. But some of them do take a bit longer. That's definitely the way it's been for me. But to discover that this same relaxed sense of ease and openness and increased intelligence can be found in all situations in each moment. And the intelligence is so broad, so expansive, that it actually sees, well, what will be of benefit to all? See, I, I used to think that being more intelligent would mean that I would be able to show people how much I knew, <laughs> or I'd be really intelligent <laughs> in accumulating loads of money for myself. You know, this kind of intelligence. But actually, the intelligence that I really have access to is an intelligence that is of, of benefit to all. And this is another huge shift for me and such a, a shift in perspective that um, was one that I really wasn't expecting. You know, I, I came to this training and I, I wanted relief for myself. And I began to find this relief more and more with more and more of my own data. And it's like, oh, what, what, you mean I actually am okay? You know, I feel all of this stuff and think all of these things, but it's all all right. And I, I can allow myself to feel it. And then to see that, well, then well, how do I want to spend my time and energy? If I'm okay, then do I need to spend all of this time and energy on fixing myself, on arranging my own life into this perfect set of data that is gone as soon as I think I've arranged it? And to see that actually, no, my life can be used however I like to use it however I choose to use it. And very naturally, from the, the vantage of open intelligence, the, the, the decisions that were flowing effortlessly were ones that were going to be of more and more benefit, not just to me, but, but to everybody else in my life. And that came about quite naturally, almost as a, a, a byproduct of gaining confidence in this. It's not about um, trying to contrive compassion or gratitude, because although that is certainly a better approach than being completely indulgent with all of your data and criticism and um, ju judgment about yourself and other people, the only way to really access the true beneficial power of your data is to allow them to be full, felt completely fully and not to try and replace them with a feeling of compassion or a feeling of gratitude, but to feel all of it fully, particularly the negative stuff. And that's where the support is essential, because we're not used to doing that. But the benefits from doing so are just, um, just beyond belief. You know, the, the sense of real ease with all of your data, not just the nice, happy stuff, the fluffy stuff, but all of the really dark stuff we feel as well to really know within yourself that that also is included within this vast expanse of open intelligence. That, that's the source of, of real completion, real satisfaction and, and real intelligence, real reality. <laughs>